Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Before we get started on today's question, I want to show you how we get these poles in the first place. So when you go over to the Electrical Code Coach YouTube channel and you slide over to Community, when you click on Community, you'll see all of our polls. You can go back and answer previous polls. You can see the percentage of what everyone you know thought it might be. Today's poll um, has 598 votes, and I, the question was, have you ever wired a generator before? Before. And then uh, yesterday's question, I'll actually put answer videos, just like I'm going to with today's question. About three out of four days, I make an answer video. And then some days I just put fun polls like I did today. So let's go ahead and look at today's question. All outdoor receptacles require in-use bubble covers. The options were only in a wet location, not in damp locations, or yes, in all outdoor locations. So to find the answer for this, we're going to go to 406.9 a and b but we can find the answer to all of this pretty much in a but we're going to touch a little bit on both and i'm reading from the 2023 because i wanted to be in the most update code i started over here in my 17 i got it over here on my desk i started over here but I, i'm finishing up an nfpa link and if you you're new to nfpa or nfpa link it is a digital code book all the years and many other uh you know books that they produce that you can uh resources that you can find I'm not being sponsored by this video. I just highly recommend NFPA link if you're not involved. But when we get to 406.9a, it says receptacles installed outdoors in a location that's protected from weather or in other damp locations, which is a defined term back in Article 100, they shall have an enclosure for the receptacle that is weatherproof when the receptacle is covered meaning it's not a bubble cover. It's just as long as there's nothing plugged into it, you can close it and it's weatherproof. That's all that it's required to be. It says weatherproof when the receptacle is covered, meaning the attachment plug cap has not been inserted and the receptacle cover is closed. So let's see if we can look one up really quick online and see if we can give you a good example. Outdoor... Oh. Ute door out U T D O O R receptacle cover. And this is what we're talking about here, right here. So, this one here is a really good example of a receptacle faceplate that will be. Let's see if I can turn it on side here. I don't know if it's going to turn you guys on the side too or not. Pretty cool. So this will be one that you can use, and when it's closed, it's weatherproof, but when it's open, it's not. Now let's look for an in-use bubble cover. In-use bubble cover. And these are the ones you're required to use when you are in a wet location. So this one here, and the reason they call it an in-use cover is because you can close it and the cord cap remain in while it's in use. And also it is weatherproof while it's in use. So when you are in an area that's a defined term, which is a damp location, you're only required to use the ones that are weatherproof when closed, when not plugged in. If you're in a wet location, then you're required to use one that is wet, weatherproof all the time. Let's go ahead and read the finish reading the code here. It says an installation suitable for wet locations shall also be considered suitable for a damp location. Meaning if you satisfy the wet location code, of course it's going to satisfy the damp location code. It says a receptacle shall be considered in a location that's protected from weather where located under open roof, roofed porches, canopies, marquees, and alike, and will not be subject to beating rain or water runoff. And in my opinion, uh, it says it says protected from weather. Let, let's read the beginning part of the code here. It says per, receptacle that's installed outdoor in a location that's protected from weather or in other damp locations. So it, it could also, and in my opinion, if it's protected from weather, it should meet the damp location rating. But it could technically be a dry location if it's never subject to moisture at all. But we're not going to go down that trail. So let's go ahead and look at wet locations. It says receptacles of 15 or 20 amps or that are 120 
and 250 volts that are installed in a wet location shall have an enclosure that's weatherproof whether or not the attachment plug is inserted. An outlet box hood installed for this purpose shall be listed and identified as extra heavy duty, which I think is a change that started in the 17 and has grown and evolved. And they've added some other new changes here in the 2023, which we're going to cover this exact topic on one of my videos where I cover all of the changes starting in the 17, the 2020, heading into the 2023. I am the Electrical Code Coach, a little bit longer video today. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that these videos add a little bit of value to you and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, which is the Electrician's Hub channel, and head over to my Electrical Code Coach channel and subscribe there as well. If you guys need anything, let me know. Let's get to it.